We all strive to be focused, productive and healthy while working. We know that having the right ergonomic office chair helps achieve this. But what about the setup of the rest of your workstation? Let's ask the expert, ergonomist and osteopath Andrew Wilson. Your bureau ergonomic chair is only as good as how you set it up and how you adjust your workstation. I'm going to show you some common mistakes and how you can best avoid them. Avoid sitting too low so the knees are higher than the hips. This tilts the pelvis backwards and puts the spine into a C-curve slouch, compressing the spinal discs. It's a recipe for developing back problems. The solution is to raise the seat so the hips are higher than the knees with a forward slope on the thighs. Avoid having your screen too low. This tilts the head and neck forward with the rest of the spine following into a slouch posture. This can cause neck and back problems. The solution is to raise the screen to eye level so your head and neck are erect and your spine is supported by the contours of the chair. This may require raising your monitor. Aim to have the toolbars at eye level. You can also use a laptop riser with an external keyboard and mouse. Avoid leaning too far back on the backrest while working. This requires the neck to crane forward and the arms to overreach to the desk. It creates a stress point at the neck and shoulders and leads to poor posture and neck and shoulder tension. Solution, the backrest should be tilted only slightly backwards, five to 10 degrees, to take the weight of your spine while allowing you to sit close to the desk. More reclined postures can be used in meetings and while on the phone or Zoom. It's common to see people not using a document holder. If you're constantly bending and twisting your neck to look at documents, you will soon develop neck problems and headaches. Solution, place your documents on a centrally located copy holder. It's also common to see people not using a phone headset. This causes neck and shoulder stress and can lead to work inefficiency. Solution, use a telephone headset, headphones or switch to speakerphone. A cordless headset allows better mobility. Avoid overreaching to the mouse. This is a very common cause of neck, shoulder and forearm pain. The relatively small shoulder muscles are not designed to support the weight of the outstretched arm for long periods. They quickly become fatigued. The solution is to keep the shoulder and arm tucked alongside the body. Avoid having your desk too high or too low. This can make it difficult to get good forearm support. Too low can lead to poor shoulder, elbow and wrist angles, creating joint stress and tension. Too high creates extra neck and shoulder tension. The solution is to have your desk at elbow height with your forearms parallel to the floor. Bureau seating is designed to enhance your comfort, support and optimal well-being. Sit well, live better.